is really not a wise choice for you. It's our rights to stay here. You can't just expel us. Someone is passing messages to us through these notes. We have been with a butcher whose identity is unknown to all of us. Like the story of Xeno Youth Force. We are in real danger now. Welcome everyone to a let's play of Reverse 1999. Today we will be doing or continuing the previous or well, uh, previous story, the event story. It's time for a check of Please a nightmare or at Green Lake. All right. Oh, but first, I guess I should probably do this. The wilderness stuff. Mm. So, I guess most people have already rolled, huh? I mean, uh, Two Fairy is quite a hype character, so. Uh, uh, how are everybody's roll? I hope everybody at least got one copy of it. Or her. Aerated. Yeah, Suitable okay. For plantation. Uh, and yeah, let's continue on the story. The yeah, I should probably do this too. Uh, after. The ro uh, rolling star. Alright. The last photograph of the best howler. It's drizzling and doting with shining stars. Uh, dotted with signing stars. Huh. Alright. Hmm. Roaring stars. Sounds like a song, huh? It escaped, taking my precious collection away. Now there's no way to collection. The trees it pushed down have blocked the path. This would take us some time. All right. That was definitely not your usual critter, Miss Two Fairy. What kind of traces did you find earlier? Mm. Most of them are left by medium and small critters. The claw marks of giant critters are clear but few. There's probably one critter of such immense size. Okay. Besides, we need to offer an explanation to that lady. Blondie! Of course. The Miss Karen of the group, I guess. Uh, they will look at the center of the chaos, who seems to feel the gazes and turn back in confusion. Why are you all staring at me? Do I have something on my face or my clothes? <laughs> I mean, guy, you you need to explain them. Tooth Fairy turns her face to the film crew. Young people bathed in fake blood from the circus discussing sad noise. Sad noise keep coming out of them. Camera! My camera, my god, the roll films are ruined too. Oh. They're there, Jennifer. Perhaps I can try piecing it together and fix it for you. Would yeah. it help you to feel better? Yeah, that won't work. It's no use. Everything in it is gone, every take I took. Yeah, like what Anne said, don't be sad. Thanks to your generosity, none of us were injured. <laughs> All right, man. Blondie looked up, and the uh, bitter piece, brittle pieces of burn camera fall to the ground from her hand. Oof! Burned what like hell. Did you just say? I'm trying to comfort you. Don't glare at me. Actually, I think this is unnecessary, but they made me. 
yeah he's not the latest guy i mean the clothes gave it away but yeah the young man lowers his head keeps his voice down and tilts his head towards the people behind him <clears throat> see behind me the girl with the hat and the girl in the white huh? uh, unnecessary you think it's unnecessary do you have even the slightest idea of what you have destroyed yeah a unique one of a kind camera so yeah <laughs> A pricey one too, huh? The blonde girl is shaking. Her face is clouded with anger. Her manicure nails nearly poke Horus Horopedia's nose uh, like serpent little knives. Ooh. Make yeah. your four eyes useful and look at these. What do you think they are? All right, calm down. Let's be reasonable. If you were mad because of your movie, I am really sorry. But at that very moment, I thought our safety mattered the most. Hmm, true. Also, I have good news for you. This recorder is meant for taking daily family videos. The clips taken by it aren't nearly enough to be called a movie. <laughs> okay. So, to yeah, some extent, just... I just prevented you from shooting a disastrous movie. No, okay, just put all to the fire, man. Just pour potre, just pour petroleum in it, huh? If you are looking for any financial compensation, please talk to the girl with the hat. Oh, oh, come again? Who is going to make a disastrous movie? Uh, no, don't change the subject. Movies? Ha, no, I'm not reaching over some movies. I don't care about this shit at all. Mm, yeah, very convincing, Bondi. You think money can get you out of trouble? It doesn't even come close. That was a limited collaboration product of Recorder and Lugus. You can only find three of these all over the world. Only three. Mm. It's more valuable than any jewelry or luxury handbags. The suede decoration on it alone can buy two hundred of your stupid head, dumb. Oh. Oh my God. Shoot, my makeup. What are you sticking there for? Go clean the broken trunks and bridges off the path. We have to get back to the cabin as soon as possible. I have no desire to catch a cold in the rain. Mm-hmm. True. Clean up, clean up. Someone comes to our side. This is uh. not a safe place for you. Get back to the town, find a hotel, and take a hot shower. My students and I will escort you to the main road at the edge of the woods and arrange a car for you. If any of you have symptoms like an itchy throat or rising temperature, please buy some Robitussin or a similar drug at the nearest pharmacy. Ugh! No, I'm not leaving! The movie is not finished! Uh, okay, did... I'm guessing she didn't saw the giant creature that tried to kill us, but okay. As long as you take care of that big monster, I can continue I... with my project to get that stupid shit movie done. <sighs> Okay. But we don't have the camera. Ca camera. Ca camera. You dumb girl. Ugh. You have no idea what we are doing here. So don't tell me what to do if the best you could do is handcraft some props. Staying here is really oh. not a wise choice for you. It is very dangerous and you can't protect yourselves. All right. It's our right to stay here. You can't just expel us. You are, of course, entitled the right to stay, Miss Blani. But I hope you could keep in mind that you and your friends are in grave danger. The Green Lake campsite is not a place for fun. Where are the guys? Where are the guys, though? Uh, don't they get any kind of um, voices in this argument? No? Right. You should stay with us for the sake All of your right, safety. Then. The mm. rain is getting heavier. We might catch a cold. Let's clean up the road and head for the shelter. Mm. Shelter. The blonde girl falls silent for a brief moment and then storms away. All this gibberish to scare us off. Come here, Freddy! 
Go into the campsite and see if you can find some axes for us. Cutting down woods. Kids, if you find any teeth, please pick them up and hand them to me. Hurry up, Freddy! I'm freezing! She was talking to the fairies, right? Not... Yeah, not their... Uh, not her companions. Okay. Because that would be weird. Repaired a wooden bridge. A giant creature destroyed the path to the cottage. Tap here to view the status, okay? Mm, cost 50. This place is on the verge of collapse. Use dry wood to repair the bridge so that you can use again. Okay, repair. How am I going to get the woods there? The woodlands. Five of critters during campsite inspection or complete camp handbook task to get dry wood. Okay. Mm, the the camp <laughs> campground roads are decrepit. Use dry wood to fix up the road. To get more dry wood, drive off critters during campsite. Uh, this, the same thing. Alright. Clear the cottage. Let's fight it. Let's do battle! Oh. Wait, so it's fixed? No, no, it's not fixed. I guess she is fixed, yeah. Hmm. Alright, I'm guessing I can do it. Alright. Mm, the story is interesting right now, so... You're hurt. It's okay, I'll set you up. Oh, the healing. Yeah, okay. A demonstration. Do this. Wait. Do this. Do this. And do this. I mean, it's already over, so it doesn't matter that much. It's a tough one, boss. Thunder Talisman, scientific version. Seven, seven, set. Not obtain a slip found in a post-war camp. This messy scroll might seem unreadable, but uh, examining it carefully should reveal a few anecdotes related to Green Lake campsite. They post and stuff. Okay. Dry wood. Do I? Hmm. Okay. Uh, like every terrifying monster, his past is a sorrowful tale. Even when Jack was a child, his wit were far duller than those of his peers. Hmm. Clear the bridge. Yep, I can do that now. Alright. Uh, I climbed the craggy wood stairs to see the dusty tear house, uh, tree house. Tear house, what the fuck? Year house, huh? huh. Look, uh, sounds like a horrible place, dear house. The lock has been broken. I should probably write Those that are bite marks from small critters. They might have nested inside. Okay. This damn place has power supply? Who will pay for the bill? <laughs> yeah, I just noticed it. Damn. 
Maybe it has underground cables, or it's powered by some generation sets left by Zeno. Wait, oh. stop here. Maybe that, uh, maybe Blondie's uncle did, uh, did that. Yeah. To your right, by the corner of the stairway, there are three. No, at least three of them. Readers. Uh... They're getting closer. Blondie, take your friends away. All right, another fight. Hmm. I mean, instead of you, who should I bring? I guess I can bring Eternity. No, he already has our Bone or yeah, Bone Max. So Apple, uh, I'll bring Apple. Hmm. There will be some differences between theory and practice. Mm -hmm. There's something strange about these creatures. Hmm. They are so spirit, spirited, yeah, spirited. Maybe they ate something that had a special effect on them. Watch out! Don't underestimate them. Of course, ma'am. Do this. Uh, do yeah, this. I know. What? You still don't recognize me? Ooh. What about now? Huh? Came back to life? Uh, uh, <laughs> they have got mm. uh, <laughs> That's how it always is with monsters in horror stories. Okay, man. <laughs> yeah, it seems... And this is why I remind everyone that you should shoot them until they're dead. Yeah, zombie logic, man. In their head. Shoot it again. Don't let it get back up. Man, he's having fun. So I will keep this and do this and, and do this. Is. Situations like this are likely to happen again. You better get it 
get in the habit of making sure that they stay dead. Strange. I remember I left it here. Where's the camera? Extra. Are you looking for something? Perhaps I can help. The sub camera, huh? Mm. No one asks for your help. Go away. That's rude, Bonnie. Bonnie extended her arm and stopped the girl. If you have nothing better to do, go clean the house up. I need a place to rest. Yes, sure, you must be tired. Don't worry, I will take care of it. Let me give you a hand, Anne. That'd be great. The tools are in the closet. This won't take us long. Always the helpful girl. The cleaning is finally done. Anne and Soleto walked around, around in the living area handing out blankets they found in the cabin. Michael sniffed, turning his eye speculative, uh, speculatively. Yeah, speculatively. So, you guys are really the investigators from the St. Pavlov Foundation? What is St. Pavlov Foundation? No way! You've never heard about St. Pavlov Foundation? Hmm. St. Pavlov Foundation is an official institution that takes in and organizes arcanists, and My friends and I work for them. We will try our best to keep everyone here safe. And we also run now. Uh... I've never met a real one. What do you guys normally do? Taking humans for subject research? <gasps> Roaming around to snoop on the political parties? Are those stories true? Yeah, it's probably true. Human subject research? Political parties? Pardon me, I don't follow you. Yeah, not the correct person to ask. We will never do harm to any human. It's strictly stipulated. <laughs> Save your bureaucratic rhetoric, little girl. Okay, man. Michael, okay. I get it. She's kind of ignorant or naive but yeah I've read those books I know you've done some dirty things tell me all right all right man shut your face Michael I recruited you to play the fool not asking you to really be one <laughs> don't bring disgrace on us for going to Vine State College with you you were all students from Vine State College yes faculty of filmmaking this fool here is a chemistry student. The big guy over there is an art student on English literature and poetry. Whoa. It's one of my assignments to make a movie during the semester break. So I hired every useless meathead available and traveled all the way to this shoot just to shoot a stupid horror movie. All right. A stupid horror movie? I thought you loved horror movies. Yeah, I don't think so. Ew! Don't disgust me. Who would possibly have interest in the movies filled with characters in sweat and dust and presenting zero romance or any nice costumes? And why did you do that then? You mean, you are not interested in horror movies but determined to film one here? Yeah, that's weird. Blonie paused for a second, wrapping her herself tightly in the blanket. You tell me. They are cliched, meaningless, but easy to make. <laughs> You're right. the easiest option for this assignment. That's it. I've never liked any of them. Oh, I see. That's why you selected this awful script, all these beautiful but useless props, and such an untrained cast. Yeah. Oh, what did you say? The awful <laughs> script? Well, I've read your script. It is illogical and dull. The conflicts are not strong enough. Mm. Or we can call it a classic, but in another word, it's stale. I really wonder, how did you get admitted to the filmmaking faculty? The admission criteria for Vine State College should be quite difficult to meet. Hmm. Nepotism, perhaps? You! What do you know about filmmaking? You're no 
one but a spawn of the Foundation like those bodyguards my daddy has. Come on, relax, Blonnie. Jason lifts one arm and rests it on the ghost's shoulder. If your dad didn't sponsor the two library buildings, you would not be here studying filmmaking. Yeah, so nepotism. And you look exactly like an arcanist when you get mad. Don't. It's not a good look. Wait. Isn't she not an arcanist? <laughs> Say that again? Think you could take a punch from me? I'm not in a good mood today. I just lost a camera, so you can keep on pissing me off if life is being too good for you. Man, she's the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Normally you wouldn't be so mad over a little joke like this. Are you making a fuss now because your arcanist friends got your back? <laughs> Alright. Jason, Jennifer is trying to finish a project. You shouldn't be mean to her. And Jennifer, please don't get into a fight with him. Isn't he your friend? I thought friends won't say hurtful words to each other. I don't understand. Is this the way people make friends in the outside world? Outside world? Hmm. Yeah. That's, that's weird. Her words of meditation... Uh, sorry, her words of meditation seems only inadequate and useless in front of Blonnie's anger. The young girl jumped into jumps into her classmate like a furious cat. She pulled Jason's hair and ears, yelling at yelling in rage. I will knock off every tooth in your mouth and give them away to that crazy teeth collector. <laughs> okay. Only in this way can your empty head remember how much I hate being called an arcanist. So she is an arcanist, huh? But yeah. Sorry about that. Ah, the dogs, man. What can you do? Uh, angry scratches appeared on the man's face, and he seems equally mad. But you are always an arcanist. Although you've tried every means to be a human, it won't change your identity. Okay, this will a moment. But you are always an arcanist. Although you have tried every means to be a human, it won't change your identity. The Foundation's investigators does not plan to stand aside and watch. Mm, so he is a ra- uh, I guess... Not racist. much you despise us, many brilliant playwrights are arcanists. Mm. Mr. Horopedia, please stop making this worse. <laughs> you jerk! Quiet. Astute Fairy knocks 
on the table with her glass star thus, pre and thus sparkling creatures inside are frightened and started to hit the jar if you don't shut up now i will shut you all up forever yes then i tread her scary free free asmr miss anne has a point this is not how friends get along. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not here to fight. We need to cooperate. I don't expect you to love each other, but no more fights. I don't care whether you are arcanist or human. Now sit back on the sofa, everyone. All right. I'm sorry, Miss Tooth Fairy. I'm sorry, too. I should have stopped them. What? You're not at fault, Anne. <laughs> okay, Mr. Racist. The young people's the young people sit back in the to, to the couch. There is a strange un uncomfortable silence in the room. Yeah. Blonnie, is Anne also recruited as an actress? She is not as restless energetic as your classmates. No, she isn't. She's a local villager. We met by the edge of the woods. Mm hmm. Really? As well as Rod, the one that plays the butcher. That's everyone in my crew. Now, if your curiosity has been well satisfied, leave. I need a break. I mean, I'm pretty sure they have fixed up the room for you, so... Freddy, who is hiding in the corner, suddenly talks to Blonnie in a low voice. Wait. Sorry to interrupt you when you're not in a good mood. Actually, Rod didn't come here. He's hospitalized. Do you remember? Wait, what? He's not here? Then who played the butcher? Isn't he another actor you hired? Together with Anne in the town near the woods? Oh my god, is he really that butcher? No, I've never looked for any other actors. The only new actor I hired is Anne because she looks almost like a twin to Anna, and Anna is absent because of her stomach flu. Oh, wait. Right. Anna is in hospital because of her stomach flu, which was a result of that toe bark stew she had with Rod. So, Rod. Rod was not in the car with us when we left. Mm-hmm. Holy mother of God. That, that is... We've been with a butcher whose identity is unknown to all of us. Oh, scary. Don't worry, I will protect you. How is this possible? When did this place get so dark? What time is it now? Hey, Freddy, stop whining and take a look at the clock. Okay, okay. Uh. Afternoon. Afternoon. 1 p.m. What? I don't think... Yeah. Yeah, it's not 1 p.m. dude. It's too dark. The outside... Outside the window, there is a mid there is midnight darkness. Nobody has noticed when the sun was gone. Freddy looked up. His lips are shaking. His face has turned pale, and the expression on it is twisting strangely. Is that bro? No, that butcher is going to slaughter us. It is truly a cold-blooded murderer. But yeah. Uh, he didn't slaughter these guys at the first time. At, yeah, at, at the first time, right? Man, the butcher really must like um, dramatic moments. You know, suspense and stuff like that. Damn. Giving them hope or, or not hope. Uh, giving them a false sense of security, huh? Don't freak out, Freddy. 
A murderer is not someone you frequently meet. We're not shooting a horror movie. No, no, you are not shooting a horror movie. You are inside a horror movie. Actually, you are. <laughs> a giant monster? A fake friend of yours? A sudden nightfall? Anything here not like a horror movie? Oh my god. Damn, aren't you being paranoid enough? Do you want the situation to get messier? You, sit down. I will go check the electrical panel and fix it. It will bring back the light and restore your sanity. Oh, Jason, no, man. I, at least go, go with someone else. Those who remain alone in a horror movie never end up safe and sound. Mm -hmm. If the butcher is really lingering outside the door, you will be his first blood. Although you are rude, impolite, and suspected to ancestry discrimination, I suggest you to take someone with you for the sake of your safety. Alright. I'll back off, you troll! Oh, Jason is dead. Jason walks out of the cave. Jason walks out of walks out of the cavern in anger. The wooden door is forcefully shut behind him. The rest of the people looked at each other. Horopedia suddenly gasps and rubs his painful shoulders. Result resulted from that push. He really didn't do that on purpose, did he? Probably did that on purpose, right? What on purpose? He said and did all the things you shouldn't be doing. Oh, you mean like running or running away alone and stuff like that? Hmm. We are in a horror movie. His actions are like taking some sleeping pills, putting the noose around his neck, and shooting himself in the head. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. If you take it like that, yeah. They slipped from the cabin. Some of them got wet. They are covered in small bitter glow marks. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, barley build. Bru yeah, barley build. I guess that's the name of the butcher, right? Barley build. Uh, What's la yeah. Las so Las so collab. What? How do you even pronounce this word? Las so ho Las so calypsis 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 right? Plus Plus P L U S Plus Plus, yeah, plus, plus, so, po, galaxy. Nah, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that word. I slip out in the cabin. No, I feel sorry for the poor little thing. Its parents died, and it became a test subject, suffering in the name of some war conspiracy. Oh, damn. A test subject. <sighs> Games of the brave. Oh. All right. The start. Uh, the. The harder. Yeah. What the fuck. Yeah, my brain just farted. The harder content is about to start. Huh? The young flame crew uh, has become. Okay, the young flame crew had become silent in waiting. Young flame crew. Huh? And they lower their they lower their head, hoping this may come to an end. It has been seven minutes and twenty five seconds since our bro, the brave, took the one man mission. Hmm. He's probably running around for his life right now. I have never fixed a panel before. Can anyone tell me if it's normal to take this long? From my experience in human society, it is not too long. 
If the device has been drastically destroyed, or the maintenance man is not familiar with that model, it will take a longer time to fix. This is not unusual. We need to go outside to find him. Mm. We are not in the human society. Aside from the butcher, he might confront some other troubles. True. Zanetto, True. you stay here with Miss Two Fairy. I will go find Jason with Horopedia. Uh, go with someone else. Uh, go with someone else, yeah. Yeah, Horopedia. No matter if we find him or not, we'll come back in five minutes. Hmm. What if you don't? Then it means we are not in the kind of horror movie where misfortune only happens to lone wolves. <laughs> if we don't come back, please evacuate the whole campsite and contact rescue. Hmm. Oh, the light is on. I guess he did it. Yeah, it's Jason! He fixed the lights! The light is people's mind and expel their anxiety and fear. Michael stands up from the couch with a hint of desperation. He looked at the door with joy, hoping to see Jason walk in from there with arms, with open arms and mocking them for chickening. But the wait goes on and on and on. I, I can't stand it! This place sucks! I can't stay here for another second! Okay, second victim. Pack your bags. We are done with that film. Everybody, get into the car with me. Let's go. Relax, man. Firstly, Lone Wolf disappears. Next, it will be the people who failed to escape. Now we must stick together. Mm -hmm. At least the rain was the origin of all these weird things. You shouldn't have walked into it. I remember the weather forecast said there won't be any rain in this area today. Oh. Like the story of Xeno Youth Force. We are in real danger now. Xeno? Xeno Armaments Engineering and Technology Academy? You know it? Are there anecdotes about Xeno in the town as well? They used to live here, in this cabin. Mm hmm. <laughs> Enough! Stop! Okay, man, man, calm down. This guy is going off the rails. Ed! Stay away from those weirdos! We're leaving! Michael, we should listen to Ferdinand and her friends and stay. Ah! If, if Rod can be fake, this whole campsite can also be an entire illusion! Man, you guys look tracks. normal, just like, like any ordinary people whom we would possibly run into in a place like this. But then you will infiltrate. Please calm down. We've only been trying to help. Oh, oh, oh my God! He got the gun. <laughs> I won't be deceived anymore. I will shoot you. Stay away from me. Man, that took a drastic turn. I mean, that e escalated quickly, I guess. Uh, one hand holding the gun, the other seizing Anne by his arm. Michael takes a few steps back to reach the door. Oh my god, taking hostages to her. Jason is right! Our cadets are all insane! <laughs> I won't let you get into my car! You guys stay here and wait for the butcher to get you! The fuck? This guy's gone completely gone. Oh my god. Michael storms out into the rain with Anne. We can't let them leave like this. Hurry up. And Freddy is oh, in the corner just squatting her. As time passes, Soneto can feel the rain soaking her clothes. She wipes the water off her face and looks around. This is not good. It's too dark out here. Hardly visible. Michael must have driven out of here. But how did Blonnie disappear in the blink of an eye? What? 
To the south. The skid marks and footprints all point to the south. Mm. Here are the claw marks of the critter. They might be in danger. We need to hurry up. All right. Over here, I found her. Oh, I think the critters, huh? How did that happen anyway? Gladi, please stay still. We're coming for you. Miss Toothfairy and Horopedia, please follow them. Zanetta and I will handle this. Be careful. This creature is very malicious. Use this if needed. She hands over her golden glitter, uh, golden glittering glass star and quickly runs out of their sight with Horopedia. The rain has healed its wounds. It's getting stronger and harder to deal with. May the peace be with us. All right. What is? You haven't upgraded game set as this yet. Okay. Huh. Disgusting, huh? Is that blood? Damn, blood is spurting. Then the cracking of flames 
the ri the riding magician invites you to play with them. hit something and then explode <laughs> them and there's no one in the car but the key seems to be there hmm? what is this watch out careful something is coming hmm. they, uh, they were drawn to the sound of the explosion get ready to fight all right and what is this oh. Uh, immune to all status, get on the hill, okay. When destroyed, critical rate for a few rounds from the destroying side, okay. Mm, do this. And do this. And I guess. Please hurry, uh, please help me prepare an ultimate. It might be of some use. So. Alright, alright. Still in here. And do this and do this. Ah! ah. Yes. I just clicked. Mm. Car. It, was found, it was found rolled up with the key and covered in Twitter footprints. Uh, you added a rest to your movement. What? A rest to the movement? What do you mean a rest? You mean like resting? Anyway. Okay. Mm. A slip struck in the back of Pony's coat. Blown, yeah, bony scope. Uh, deformed bones, is through flesh and skin, crying and howling all the night long. 
beneath the water surface quiet came the angry sound from the man holding the medical box. Oh, yeah, this he was an experiment subject, huh? This man is the one that's doing the experimenting. A group of young people ex explores. A group of young explorers appeared. They were not good friends. They were not kind-hearted. Jack plunged into the water, silently sinking, sinking like a giant rock. Alright. Yep. Oh. In the tofu jar. She licks the glittering wing dust from her hand, recalling the tooth fairy's taste as if as it burst in her mouth. Oh. Huh, wait. Are all this from a uh, tooth fairy's perspective? First the loner, then the fail then the failed fugitive. Now more than ever we must act together. Huh, I guess all of this is from her perspective, huh? Damn, okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought her uh, toothpaste was um, uh, moustache or something. <laughs> Still alive, so pieces. <laughs> Lonnie, you're awake. I have just given you first aid for the wounds. For now, we will have to wait for Miss Tooth Fairy to administrate a thorough treatment when she comes back. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, she's very professional and skillful. You won't feel any pain in the process. Yes, like plucking out your teeth. Am I in the cabin? Th then I'm not dead. Good, I'm not dead. <sighs> yes, yes, you're, you're not dead. The critter is gone. Don't worry. Follow me. Take a deep breath. Hold my hand. Another deep breath. <sighs> Glony gradually calms down, yet her hands are still trembling. Do you feel better now? Thank you. I feel... Much better now. Oh, Anne! Where is she? Did she get hurt? We didn't find her in the woods. Wasn't she in Michael's car? No, she wasn't. She jumped off. She saw me being attacked by the critter and jumped out from the side window. Oh no! Wait. Huh? I'm not getting this. Anne was kidnapped by this. by. no. by Michael, right? That's the guy's name. What did she say? Anyway. And they drove off with the car. Then Blony and Burton followed them. Then Blony just suddenly disappeared. Then, huh? huh? How? How did this. Or how did they see? Uh, hmm. Weird, weird. The butcher! He must have taken in! Must be with him! I. I saw him too. He was walking towards her. Just mm. like what would happen in a horror movie. Yes, you are it's in a okay. horror movie. Here, take my hand. We know where she is now. This is good. We will get her back safe and sound. Okay. I I understand. Mm-hmm. The wooden door once again opened with squeaking noise. Squeaky noise. Miss Tooth Fairy, you're back. Where is Michael? They have gone. 
she took a chain of keys out of her pocket and put it on the table. We are not able to catch up and intercept the car. It crashed on the... the edge of the woods in front of us. Yeah. So it is weird that Bloni saw and trying to help her, right? Because... Or... Did the car crash because... Henny jumped out of the car. Hmm. Crashed on the edge of the woods? What do you mean? I don't know either. The car was about to rush out of the woods, and then we heard a huge crushing sound. Mm. The front section was squeezed together, and the rear wheels were lifted in the air. And there was an explosion. Looks like the car was crashing into an invisible wall. It happened right in front of us. Too quick and too astonishing. We got to the car. The fire caused by the explosion was being extinguished by the rain. We found no one but this key. Is it yours, Bonnie? Suspicious, suspicious. No, never seen it before. I'm getting really suspicious of uh, of Anne right now. Mm, I don't think she's a butcher, but. Is she the century? Uh, yeah, is she the centurion? Oh, sorry, not the centurion. Is no, Centaurus right? That's what the creature is called, Centaurus. Hmm. I always have some decorations or a doll attached to the keychain. This one is rusty and too plain. It smells weird too, like dirt. Okay. Anything special? No. Neither mark nor labels. We didn't find anything to match it in the car. First the lone wolf, then the people who failed to escape. Things are getting too complicated. But there's one thing that I am certain of. We are now caught in a dangerously and classically plotted horror movie. Yeah. Let's just hope it doesn't uh, turn out like Final Destination. After taking a break, they light a fire to warm the space. That means Anne jumped off the car in order to save Blonnie from the critter's attack. Mm -hmm. Then she got lost. According to Blonnie, the last thing she saw was the approaching butcher from the woods. She's in great danger. We must act swiftly to save her. Also, we need to turn this cabin into a security base for the upcoming battles. Horopedia and I will rescue Anne. He's a horror movie expert, and it will be of great help. In the meantime, you and Sonetto stay here to take care of Blonnie and to secure this room. Okay. I will take good care of her. Burden. Taking sars of the situation, huh? The group split into two halves. Uh, the one staying in the cabin starts to walk. Ow! This hurts! Please bear with me for a minute. The wounds caused by critters are prone to tetanus. I need to thoroughly sterilize them. How about some painkillers? Give me some! I'm very sorry. I don't have any with me. You... Didn't you say your treatment wouldn't be painful? I'm terribly sorry for what you're going through, but... This is not the typical kind of treatment that we used to receive from her. I guess he's a little bit mad towards her. How did she do it then? She would... A little bit of retribution. Soneto looks at Miss Tooth Fairy with hesitation. She paused until she sees the letter gives her a nod of permission. She would ask us to take the Tooth Fairies. That is, those golden elves in the glass jar. They're effective in treating toothache and other oral diseases, but also can be used to reduce inflammation, stimulate wound healing, and relieve headaches. Right. Is the Im 
application that we have to eat the tooth fairy and she pour okay and uh, she will ask us to take the tooth fairy <laughs> yeah i think so <laughs> take you mean to eat this <laughs> oh my god uh, yes and it actually tastes pretty nice like mint and flavored dried plum it's it just looks a bit unconventional yeah no uh, yeah. I won't speak the word. You would go as far as to eat this shit. I uh, okay. I won't call it as it, but yeah, it's like eating an insect, right? Uh, okay. Please stretch your legs. I need to sterilize the inner thighs. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, Blunny. You can't eat tooth fairies as a treatment. Why can't I? Of course I can. I will just put it in my mouth and swallow with my eyes closed. This is not about you. It is my own rule of treatment. I have specific treatments for humans and arcanists correspondingly. Mm -hmm. Through our contact so far, I got to know that you don't consider yourself as an arcanist, and that's why I will not treat you as one. Damn. Yeah. Respecting people's opinion, huh? Are you upset about what I said? I... I owe you an apology. I shouldn't have been rude to Arcanists in front of you. Is it opinion? No preferences, yeah. I guess, yeah. I know it hurt your feelings. I was not myself. Mm hmm I chose to live amongst humans, chose to be their friends, to be a different arcanist. I thought in this way I would be taken in as one of them. But as you see, when things come to a critical moment, they run away without me. It was my car that they drove to escape, and yet they called me a freak and left me here to die. <sighs> Funny, isn't it? Sad story. I feel sorry for you. But still, you can't take the Tooth Fairies. Is this a punishment for what I have done? I can't feed you the Tooth Fairies only because you still think you are a human. Mm. You don't recognize the behavior of your human classmates, but still want to be on this side and be one of them. Okay. The wounds are packed. Already? I, I didn't feel a thing. I've applied Carbuncle Growth Promoter. It will paralyze, sedate, and accelerate your cell regeneration. Your wounds will close up in 30 minutes. Damn. Quite a medicine. Isn't that a medicine for Arcanus? It is a prescription approved by the medicine examination supervised by Campbell. In this case, it doesn't violate my rule. You could have applied this earlier and spared me the pain. <laughs> I don't rely on painkillers. I am an excellent doctor. Minimizing patients' pain is, of course, my forte. When kids can't suppress their pain, I normally sing for them to ease their pain. Uh -oh. You didn't sing for me. Was it because you didn't want to? Maybe. I confess, what you didn't say at first was really annoying. <laughs> so it was a kind of redemption, huh? Yeah. Or reprimand. Arcanists and humans always act as if they were a one merged entity, but we all know how lines have been drawn between their own people and the others. Mm -hmm. You grew up among humans, and you learned to look away from the truth as they did. Oh, but you do react better to the medicine for Arcanists. Their blood is bringing you a good outcome. Look. In another half an hour, your wounds will be fully recovered. By then, you will be able to jump and run freely, as if you were never hurt. However you feel about your ancestry, it is helping you out. My wounds... a good outcome. Thoughts about accepting your... 
or heritage or your ancestry huh and yeah good inside good inside mm, my wounds okay Blowny soft by what she heard was to Terry wrapping up her devices and walking towards the stairs. Miss Tooth Fairy, please wait. If what Mr. Horopedia has said is true, it's dangerous for us to split up. The three of us should stay together. Mm -hmm. It will take another 25 minutes for her legs to fully recover. If the situation were to develop based on the rules of horror movies, at this stage, I am safe. Don't worry about me. I see. Have you also done a lot of research about this genre? Mm, not a lot. I just browsed the secret notebook left by Horopedia in the infirmary. I covered him from the instructors to keep his notebook. Since then, we became friends. Oh. Keep... Keep things from the instructors? Did you do this a lot? Man, the... Tornado's brain is being, is being shattered a lot yeah. in this whole ordeal, huh? Not really. The rules were extremely strict. Except for Horopedia, I only had Virgin as a frequent guest. Mm -hmm. She pretended that she got a stomachache, lying in bed for half a class. She took many toffees when she left. Oh. Timekeeper faked her illness? Ah, and that also explains her toffees. <laughs> you didn't know that. It seems I need to apologize to Virgin for letting out her secret. But thank goodness you are on her side now. Our negligence didn't cause much damage. be continued okay I'm all right now what should we do next as promised as promised to burden we need to fix this building and lay traps in the surrounding areas to make it a safe house got it I'll start now I I will I'll come help too uh, this cabin has been abandoned for years have a look around and make sure it's safe okay the parameters, uh, the parameters that could be reinforced using dry wood. Uh, study, a uh, study facilities can keep monsters at bay, while enabling all benefits of a safe house. Upgrade. Uh, there's still room for improvement. Use more dry wood to continue repairs and and get stronger effects all right uh, fix the campsite using dry wood to unlock more facilities and features step here okay all right, all right. the yard in front of the cabin is completely empty trap could be set there trap huh oh, uh, use dry wood to okay. mine your ankles when entering battle. Gain to Moxie. Alright. Uh, traps can be set in the yard before they take before they will take effect. They can be used repeatedly. Only one trap can be set in the yard. Different tap can be set to deal with different situations, so choose wisely. Okay. Alright. Can you repair? Okay. The windows is caressed by the night wind, dealing it dealing its every gap. Height speed plus plus one speed. Listen story. The sorting. Generator malfunction, please contact the camp administration. Critical damage. Oh, that's good, that's good. This is only four, right? Alright. Alright, then, everyone, uh, let's finish this video here today. And we'll continue this in the next video. And uh, so.
thank you everyone for uh, watching this playthrough let's meet again next time bye bye oh and please like and subscribe uh, to the channel goodbye